I wanted to, I've had a lot of requests for people to, for me to compare and contrast the DJI XT and the all new FLIR Duo Pro that uh, should be shipping any day now. So I've had the uh, FLIR Duo Pro for a while now. It's an outstanding unit. I've been flying with the XT for uh, well over a year. Um, and that has been an outstanding unit. We've used it to uh, help save many lives and property, but we'll kind of see where the XT uh, stands, if it can stand up to the uh, all new Dual Pro and, and what's what on it. So um, I'm, having to, I'm running the XT on my Inspire 1. It's what I've always run it on. I'm running the Dual Pro through the M600. So they're comparable transmission systems. Uh, they're both on iPads, and so we'll kind of go from there. So we'll start out with the XT. Now what I've done is it's really cold outside. I don't want to be outside. And so I just uh, put the UAS out there, both of them, and I'm inside. So we're shooting the signals through the walls right now. Uh, anyway, what I did is I put a candle out there uh, next to the fountain and a piece of paper and a frozen, my, my dog's water bowl that's frozen out there. So uh, just to kind of put it in perspective. So uh, with the XT, uh, most people are familiar with them that have used it. Uh, we have one, one of the great benefits to it um, is that it has factory integration, meaning that uh, you have full control um, from through the, the DJI's uh, Go app interface here. And of course, you know, like in the past, we have Isotherm. And for anybody that doesn't know about Isotherm, I talked about that in my last video. Um, there's a good example. I put a candle out there just to show you if that were a hot spot. Uh, we were out there, and this is a wildland fire, whatever. See, there's no more guessing and looking around. I set the temperature range that I want it to find, and I'm not seeing other stuff or figuring out, well, is this hot? How hot is that? Or having to use a spot meter um, or anything else. It's just uh, there. Yeah, that's cold. 21. By the way, down here in Texas, anything below, like, I don't know, 55, and we're dressing up like Eskimos. So... Uh, anyway, uh, so there is, I'm going to turn isotherm off, and there we're back on fusion. So, um, and again, so uh, it, it's a great unit. You can kind of see the detail in it and what you can see. You can see my storage shed in the background. You can see um, some, probably some furniture there. You can see the candle. You can see the fountain. Uh, you can see see plenty, and it's a good unit. This is the uh, 640. Um unit 30 hertz uh, 19 millimeter lens so uh, again I, I i have no complaints about it it works really well uh, so let's take a look uh, i can't get the two controllers side by side or i'd give you a comparison again this is running with the inspire one the m600 if you put the controllers side by side uh, they get cause some interference um, luckily the new m200 210 we've had them side by side with no problem whatsoever so uh, dji has addressed that issue so Anyway, I'm going to power this one off, and I'm going to switch over to the uh, Duo Pro. Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because everybody's kind of familiar with it, and they know it works, and they know it works really well. Um, strengths, again, full integration. You can change everything uh, as you go. Okay, so we've switched out over to the FLIR Duo Pro mounted to the M600. This should look very familiar because uh, these are the same configuration. These are both uh, 640, 30 hertz, 19 millimeter lens. Um, right now I put it into the, as close to the same configuration as what the XT was running, the same color palette and everything else. So it should look familiar. Uh, first thing you'll notice is you have your, your spectrum over here whenever you bring up your spot meter. Um, that does not exist on the XT, but that's very helpful to know the range uh, that you're looking at. Uh, but what I want main purpose is to show you what some of the more advanced technology is is on this uh, FLIR Duo Pro and what it has to offer and that way you can make the best decision whether or not uh, the XT or the something like the FLIR Duo Pro um, is best for you. So uh, I, I, I'll start off with um, with what does the XT actually offer. I'm going to start off with the, the only real negative I can say of what does the XT offer um, over the FLIR Duo Pro, and that would be that it's the quick 
uh, kind of a plug and play. It's already integrated by DJI the manufacturer so you chunk it on there and everything is controllable through the app. And the other thing is that everything is controllable through the app uh, like I mentioned before. Um, with that, uh, nothing else is really an advantage uh, on the XT over the Dual Pro. So what I'm going to show you is what some of the advanced technology is on the Dual Pro. <clears throat> so first thing I'm going to do is just quickly show you, and I, if you saw the other video, you've already seen this, but we showed you isotherm, which is huge uh, for public safety. I mean, that's, a, that's the game changer for us. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just quickly turn on uh, isotherm by switching to a uh, color palette and as you can see there we're isotherming on that candle and that's that so I'm going to go ahead and change it back to kind of the common fusion that people are familiar with um, but w one of the first things that I want to show you is what does uh, w what's one of the big things because there's, there's there's a bunch of extra stuff that the dual pro does but I don't want to cover all of that. I mean, that's you can discover that on your own, but this is really kind of a decision-making video to kind of help you choose between the two. And again, I told you the XT is the integrated solution, but what does this thing have? Well, first thing is it has what they call MSX. Now, I'm going to show you what the MSX technology does. And what I did is I told you I put a candle out there, my dog's frozen water bowl, um, and then I put a piece of paper out there. What I'm going to show you is when I turn on MSX, suddenly you can see what I wrote on that piece of paper as well. Now we're looking at thermal still, right? This is still a thermal image. You're looking at it and what you'll start seeing is highlights where it finds definitive edges. So what does MSX really mean? Well, uh, I'm going to do some more videos on that later, but that means that depending on the conditions, we can see through windows. So if you have a victim trapped behind a window where you could not see it before, um, it looked just like that. That's what a window looked like. Well, now if there was someone behind the window, you'd be able to see an outline as long as the, as long as the optical camera could see through that window as well. Um, that also means that we would be able to uh, identify police would be able to ident better identify weapons in suspects' hands. You know, uh, if it's a just a thermal blob like this, you can't really tell. But now, if there's some definitive edges on it, now we can start better defining what kind of a weapon that is. Is it a shotgun or a shovel? You know, you should be able to see some of the actions or, or not uh, on that particular object. So all of this stuff will come into play for, for a uh, more advanced uh, thermal unit and definitely uh, could offer some, some uh, a lot better results than, than even what we're getting now uh, with the XT. So the next thing I want to show you, and this is kind of what everybody's curious about, of course, is uh, what other modes can you do so all on one unit okay now obviously this is on the 600 but that doesn't matter this image is being sent out by the FLIR Duo Pro so even if this was on an Alta or pick your other favorite platform you would see this same kind of image so we could switch over to the visible now we actually have the visible image there again this is coming from the Duo Pro um, and then the last one that we can switch over to which is my favorite uh, is the picture in picture. So we have a optical image here and we still have a nice clear thermal image right up there and you can move that around again I'm not going to get into everything that you can do but it has a lot so we have because this is with the DJI we have our map we have our thermal we have our optical and we still have all our telemetry I mean that's a whole lot of information that's almost information overload uh, but that's uh, some outstanding uh, information that we can we can utilize right there um, so th a couple of the questions that come into play of course is uh, you know for one of the questions that always comes into play is is this the advanced radiometric in other words the the inspectors the guys that are out there making a living using these uh, they pay a, a, a pretty good penny right now for uh, XTR or the advanced radiometric XT so uh, is this or is there an upscale one that I have to buy as well that's, that's uh, the advanced radiometric? And the answer to that uh, is that this is a radiometric unit. The, these are all radiometric units. And you can see here you have your emissivity, your air temperature, humidity, um, your subject distance, and so on and so forth. So you can set all your radiometric inputs into this unit 
uh, to get your your readings and of course the um, when you're, you use the FLIR tools for your thermography um, all of that is in there as well to to come up with your accurate results uh, of course the last question that I get asked a lot um, is okay I can buy this FLIR Duo Pro but how do I attach it to my UAS what, what, how do I attach it to the aircraft and fly it um, the answer to that is really you need to go to some of your uh, integrators your guys that are not just DJI dealers but are solution providers um, one of them the one that I know is putting out some great solutions right now is Fly High USA uh, I've seen some of the stuff they're producing uh, some of you have, have as well and they are offering some uh, solutions uh, integrated solutions for the Duo Pro um, I, I think uh, RMUS, I've seen a video where they're providing a solution. I saw them uh, attach one, I think, to a M600. Um, but again, I, I know that uh, I've worked a little bit with Fly High USA and seen some of the stuff they're doing, and they're going to uh, be able to provide the FLIR Duo Pro on pretty much any platform, a DJI or not DJI platform. So um, if you're looking to do something like this, I would definitely uh, get in touch with them. Um, or check in with your favorite dealer, whoever that might be, uh, to see if, if uh, they're offering a solution for you. So uh, if you guys have any other questions or you, there's something in particular you want to know about the FLIR Duo Pro, I've been using this thing uh, for, for uh, about, uh, what, two months now. been uh, very impressed with everything that I've done and all the testing that I've done with it. Um, I've, uh, the, the MSX technology and all the picture-in-picture -picture stuff is what really... Uh, has been has been uh, interesting to me and, and the capabilities that it provides. So uh, again, if you guys have any other questions, just uh, feel free to shoot them my way, and if I can answer them, I will. Um, and we'll talk to you later.